In this Blender tutorial I will show you how to create and bend springs. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've aimed this tutorial at people who are relatively new at Blender so apologies if I make a few things a bit obvious to people who know a bit more about working in Blender. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this cube and that's simple, just press delete on your keyboard. Now press 7 on your numbers pad to go into top view, hold down shift followed by A and although you can use a single vertice, um, I never put this in the mesh, I'm going to use a plane. It just makes it a bit easier for people who are relatively new in Blender. So I'm going to use a plane, though you could use a single vertice. So I'm going to select the plane and roll my middle mouse to zoom in. Hit tab to go into edit mode. And then I'm going to select these three corners. So I'm going to select this corner here. Hold down shift and then select these two here. So these three corners are selected then delete and then select vertices, vertices now if you press A just check that you've got one vertice left press tab again on your keyboard and then one to go into front view roll your middle mouse so that you get a, a larger view and with the Remain in vertices selected, come over to the wrench, and say modifier properties, select this, select add modifier, and select screw. Now I'm going to leave the angle at 360 degrees, but where it says screw 0M, I'm going to just click on this little arrow here three times so it's 0.3 or not 0.3. In the iterations is how many times this will rotate through 360 degrees. So I'm going to just hold my left mouse button down and drag this up to 100. You can do more than 100, but you'll have to manually type this in. OK, shift in your middle mouse if you want to reposition. And I can just roll my middle mouse so that I can actually see this. Okay. Next thing you need to do is think about the um, how many sort of steps you've got. This at 16 it will look a bit angular, so I would suggest you place at least 32, 64 maybe even. So I'm going to put 32 in both these boxes here, so that steps viewpoint and render. The top one you don't need to do, but I prefer to see what it looks like before I render. Okay. Little box next to the camera, little drop down arrow, select this and then select apply. Now I'm going to reduce this in size quite a bit. So with the uh, coil selected, I'm going to just press S and drag this down in size. And again reposition and I've got a coil if you come up to object while you're still in object mode select this and then convert to or next to convert to select curve hold down shift followed by A and next to curve you've got a few options you can work with you could you create a circle a curve I'm gonna go with sorry lost that shift a next to curve I'm gonna go and select or I'm gonna select a path now obviously this path is quite a bit shorter than this coil so I'm gonna just press S to increase it in size a bit. This is something you'll have to play with because obviously you may not be working with the same amount of uh, or the same length as spring but for now I'll just increase this in size. 
and the next thing what I would do is if you come up to object select object and then set origin to 3d cursor and then select the spring and press R90 to rotate the spring 90 degrees while you're in front view and again come up to the top object set origin to 3d cursor now this may not move this coil but it will make it a bit easier to um, edit this I'll show you why in a minute with the coil selected and in your modifier properties tab or with your modifier properties tab selected still select add modifier and then select curve now if I hadn't have set the um, origin to the cursor this would have fired this right back to the end here so just select your path and have a look at it so we still got a problem here with this spring because your spring any any path you uh, create you have to be sort of in line with the path or your coil has to be in line even if it's a circle so what I'm going to do is just for now I'm going to just select this coil again and for ease I'm going to select this move tab here and drag this coil back so it's more in the middle and with the coil selected and the curve path selected that was in this box here if you remember it was selected curve select curve object or left click in the box and then select nums path and it probably will still move so you may want to drag it back to the middle again for some reason or another it doesn't set this origin to the middle um, but it's not a problem just use this move button here now select your path and then press tab to go into edit mode now you've got some points that you can move there's five in this path now if you need more um, sort of vertices if you right click you can subdivide and this will give you more I'm not going to do that all I'm going to do is just give you an idea of how to create a spring that is bent so for instance if I selected this point here and then press G for grab I can move the coil or bend it in this direction and I can do the same by selecting this here so I could bend the coil in this direction if I wanted to pull this out I could say if I select this point here and this point here by holding down shift I could subdivide here and then grab this one so I select this one and then grab it by pressing G and bend it this way it's just a matter of working out what you need to do so I'm not going to do any more with this this is just a simple tutorial so I'm going to press tab again to go into object mode hold down shift followed by A and again you've got different options but I'm going to next to curve select a circle I'll drag this out the way so you can see it a bit better and select your coil and then you'll see a little curve here it will say object data button so select the curve and then select geometry select object and in the box next to object left click and select Bezier circle 
and something like this will happen and all I do is just select this circle and then press S and gradually decrease it in size until I get a kind of coil that I'm looking for so I think that's probably good enough for this tutorial I'm happy with that select your coil and then if you go back to open convert to and this time select mesh you can remove your path and you can also remove the circle if you don't want to do any more changes select your coil smooth shading and then you can add a material now I'm not going to go into adding materials because that would be that's very subjective so I'm going to just leave this as it is so hopefully that's helped someone thank you for watching cheers